Alright guys, how's it going? So this is just a heads up. Node Custom Builder 2.8 is now available for free. I'll put the link in the description down below and you're more than welcome to actually give a donation to the developer. In fact, I encourage it. The best way I can describe this plugin is if you think of a preset system for nodes. Now I know there's a few alternatives out there and there's also a kind of built-in method but I actually really like this plugin. So we'll take a quick look and we'll jump into Blender. And of course, we need to spin the default cube of mystery. And I'll jump into the shading tab. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make a quick nodal setup. So I'll add in a material. And I'll add in a texture coordinate node. I'll also add in a mapping node. And what I'm doing here is I'm just making a quick gradient. Nothing extravagant. I'll take the generated into the vector. And the next thing I need to do is separate the channel. So I'll use a separate node separate x y z now you need to now i need to apologize i've been ill for the last week which is why my voice is pretty damn for horse and the last thing i need to do is take a color ramp node and i'll take something like the z axis and i'll put that into the factor and i'll plug that into the color now obviously if i control the ramp i can do something like this and that's my basic node setup. Like I said, nothing extravagant. So let's take a look at the add-on. So I'll open up the properties in the node editor, and you can see it down the bottom, node. Now one issue you may run across is it doesn't refresh the node custom builder list. So if I hit refresh here, you can see that I actually have something that I've set up. So the next thing we need to do is select the nodes that we actually want to make a preset. Hit the plus sign. Let's call this gradient and let's call it Z1 and we'll hit OK and that essentially stores the node preset and that's pretty much the basics of the add-on now, now the developers made an update that you can actually store this to different folders so you can actually start structuring your nodal setup a lot cleaner now what I'll do here is I'll quickly delete the object and I'll add in a UV sphere I'll jump into shading I'll assign the material again and this time I'll load the preset And that really is the basics of the add-on. It just lets you create presets for nodes. Now the great thing about this is you can actually do things like node groups and you can actually build node groups into node groups and then make a preset. There's lots of different options. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter because I've got no mates. You know what to do. Peace.